I'm Loretta Carbach. I'm a third grade teacher and I'm a member of the tech leadership team. The greatest benefit for one-to-one -one iPad is just the accessibility. Um, you know, in my planning, I don't have to think about, hmm, I wonder if I can reserve those. They're just there, and we can just pick them up at any moment. It could even not even be in my lesson plan, and I can say, oh, let's use the iPad and do this. And uh, so that's what I would say was the greatest asset, is just that it's so accessible, easy, and the kids love it. Well, I think the biggest advantage was they could sit on the desk all day long. The access was easy. And an iPad is so portable. Uh, we could take it anywhere in the building. We had kids going on scavenger hunts with their iPad. Um, so that was the best part. My teachings changed now that we're one-to-one. -one. Uh, definitely, I try to infuse technology into every day not every subject, but into every day. And um, I find that being able to keep a portfolio, a digital portfolio, each child can keep their own. Um, you know, I can access that from home. I don't have to check that here. That's been great. Uh, the kids really, I find that they're more attentive when they have their device. They really want to be on there. They'd rather use that than paper and pencil. Um, so, you know, I get it into every day, some, in some subject. The greatest success in teaching in a one-to-one -one classroom would be the use of Seesaw on the iPad, um, as well as the program called Reflex and Moby Max. Um, the kids have been able to enrich their learning through those things, and the digital portfolio in Seesaw has just been endless possibilities with that. Um, and then when it comes to the laptops, my children this year, the greatest success was Minecraft. We use that in social studies to learn about communities. The kids love it. They beg to use it. Uh, the kids have learned so much about communities that I probably never even taught before. And I think it just made a bigger impact on their learning. One of the apps that we use quite often is Nearpod. Um, we use it for anywhere from religion to social studies to math. Uh, the kids really love learning through it. Um, they love when they can explore it on their own. Uh, it's, it's easy to make a Nearpod to fit your curriculum, but it's also quite convenient to find a Nearpod lesson that's already been made, and you just tweak it to meet your needs. Nearpod has really, really been a lifesaver this year. The, the children are very engaged when we have a Nearpod. They love having the device in their hand, um, they love being able to type their answers as opposed to writing them down. Um, yeah, they cheer whenever we do Nearpod and Kahoot. <laughs>